Don't kill us. Hey. What happened? This thing don't oh, move. No, no, I put it. I put it in. Okay. Okay, go. Oh! oh. <laughs> I, don't, I never see you this close to me in my life. Hey, come on, don't drop us because I got the camera. <laughs> oh, come on, it's working. Oh, it's working, yeah. I told you. Okay, guys. We're ready, watch. What do you mean you're ready? <laughs> I'm not ready. I'm, hey! I gotta play around a little bit. Cabrón! <laughs> Wait! Where you go? I don't know. Let me try this thing real quick. Ah, cabrón. This is nice. Man, this thing rides smooth. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna test the uh, electric part. Ready? Elect yeah. Wait, I gotta put it in gear. Okay, here we go. I'm not pedaling. Oh, man. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a nice bike. Cabron, why they send only one? <laughs> they don't watch the videos or, or what? <laughs> oh. We are trying. This thing is so much fun. We are trying real quick. <laughs> okay. You can pedal and uh, I haven't figured out how the whole operation works, but you can pedal. And uh, it's in the first gear, so go. Don't do, Ay, don't do my jump. Oh wait, I gotta let me fix that. No, it's okay. It's fix okay. This. Well, you don't need to pedal anyway. Just push the no. Wait, that's no. Don't don't don't. don't, don't right. um, that's if you want to pedal. That's for the pedal. This gear here is for the electric part. So just push that uh, forward, and you can go. Okay, vamos. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> he jumped too. <laughs> Freaking Jasperito. How is it? It's good. Uh, watch. Cabron, don't crash. Woo! <laughs> 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 this thing is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so this bike is not gonna be in this video. I just wanted to kind of test it out uh, It's my probably second time riding it. and I want to see how it feels over here. It's gonna be for a different video coming up next but thanks to um, Aventon that brand right there. Hopefully I'm saying it right. They sent this bike over and uh, We really appreciate it. There'll be a link in the description for them. I think this model it's called the Where is it at? Cinch, that's the model for this one. If I'm not probably Cinch. making a mistake, I just picked one and then they sent it to me. And I like this one, it folds in the middle and you can uh, store it away right there. <laughs> you can take that latch over there off and it folds in half. And it's a slide through, walk through, whatever it's called. It doesn't have that bar in the middle, so it's easier to get in and out. I use it uh, to go on the beach around here in California and it's perfect for that. Electric bike and everyone knows how much I like electric stuff Tesla stuff and uh, I <laughs> Low-key I always wanted one of these when they reached out to us I was like I acted like I kind of didn't know I was care for them, but I really wanted one I've been wanting to buy one of these <laughs> <laughs> uh, Hey, should I tell them to send me another one? I wanted the other color. They had like really cool colors They had a tan one the green one was available the tan one was out of stock so I'm gonna see if they can send me a different version of it that I like too. We'll make more videos with them. We'll, put, we'll strap guns, make an electric gun. Oh, we, we make a race, cabron. Or race. Or something. Or something. We'll figure it out. <laughs> anyway, thank you to Aventin for sending this over. There'll be a link in the description. You'll see why I needed this for this area here to go back and forth uh, the following video. I haven't figured out everything out about this bike yet, but so far it just works good. Just push the button and it goes. Oh. Something about a 45 mile range, 25, 30 miles an hour, something like that. Works perfect for me, I don't need anything crazy when I go to the mountains or uh, mainly beaches and uh, random places when you, come, when you wanna get a little bit lazy. And of course you can pedal. So it's got both features. And it's all digital screen, gotta turn that off. Right there, off, Aventon. Okay, more about this, maybe we'll talk in the next video. Why are we here, Jasperi? Ven aquí, por favor. Ah, cabrón, yes, I come in. ¿Listo? Ya vengo, ya vengo. Ya vengo, tengo. <laughs> we got, if you guys remember a while back, I shot uh, riot shields and they were cheap ones right? I had gotten from Amazon. They were like 20, 30 bucks. Very plastic-ish. 
This company, LAPG, they send me a bunch of these professional ones. These are like $100 to $150 each. And this is actual uh, shield that the uh, police use in the riots. LAPD? Yeah, these are like, uh, that's the name of the company. That, no, I uh, say LAPD, police department. <laughs> yeah, no, it is, I don't know, maybe they're oh, out of bro. LA, honestly. But the company, it's called, uh, it's LA something, where is that? Oh, LAPG, so PG. LA Police Gear. Oh. Um, I'm guessing LA is for Los Angeles, I don't know. <laughs> I'm assuming that's what it would be. Maybe some cops down there decided to start a company. I don't know. But there will be a link in the description. They not only sell, I mean, uh, riot shields, they sell all kinds of gear. Uh, body armors and um, gun related stuff. So if you are interested in some gear, check them out. Uh, and I'm sure they'll have all kinds of tactical stuff. And uh, we really appreciate it. This wasn't cheap. They also sent me another one, we'll, uh, we'll shoot it next. But this was uh, for a few videos that I needed these ones and um, some people had said oh these uh, the other shields were too uh, cheap and these are actual shields. We're gonna shoot them, mainly not shoot them, we're gonna use bows and arrows and then move on to guns maybe someday. Um, just very ready? I'm ready. I felt like I did too much talking already. It's too early in the morning. Yes. 6 a.m. in the beautiful Nevada desert. Look at the mountains just ready. Give me a nice background. I don't think anyone has this nice scenery here. Yeah, look at this thing here. Look at the beauty. Look at the beauty. Okay, I'll be right back, Jasper. You play with the ca camera. Okay. Oh, look, the sun, Mr. Sun. You want to say good morning, America? Yeah, no, you say good morning, and I say good morning, Mississippi. <laughs> Why Mississippi? I don't know. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> good morning, Jasper. Good morning, Mississippi. <laughs> Why? I don't know why. You got too much coffee. <laughs> oh, I already talked about the shields. <laughs> I'm gonna do the traditional bow. This is semi-professional uh, bow. It's not for kids. Made by PSE. And uh, I don't even remember what it's piece it shoots. Maybe 150 feet per second, something like that. 50-60 um, pound draw. I don't know. We'll see what happens. I put the uh, these blades, the broadheads. They're super sharp. So we'll see what happens. That's pretty. Yes. Ready for this one? I'm ready. I haven't shot uh, arrows for a long time. For a long time, yeah. Okay, this is kind of fun. Back to basics. Center or what? Yeah. The bottom left or top. There's a little, just FYI, there's a little curvage on these ones. So it's not flat. So it might hit the uh, shield and kind of like uh, curve to the ri right or uh, right or left. We'll see what happens. I'm just going to go for the top left. Ooh. Oh! oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, right off the bat, these things are uh, heavy duty and designed. Uh, it messed up my arrow. <laughs> Don't even go to. Well, he it, tried uh, to go through. These things are. Just pretty. Did you see how curvy it is from the back? Like, yes. I want people to see it. It's, a, it's sticking out about like eight inches and it curves. You're gonna have to do it from the side so people can kind of see what I'm talking about. Go over there on the side. You see, it's it, it comes out this far out. I don't know if it, the camera justifies like the depth on this one. But uh, heavy duty material. And uh, it just kind of scratched or made a little hole, it, but it did not stick or uh, penetrate. So definitely this would have stopped against traditional bow. Traditional. Okay, next. Okay, next we'll do a compound bow. We'll see what it does. Just pretty ready? I'm ready. Ah. Uh, ready for this? Yes, this thing don't come back <laughs> like that. What uh, I don't think it should come back. <laughs> it should penetrate a little bit. Okay, let's go see. Okay. Ready on this one? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Oh yeah. Oh, went through two. Yeah, center shot went through one and stopped on the second one. So honestly, uh, if the first one you were to hold it, <laughs> that could do some damage. Um, yeah, compound will definitely go through. And I'm not even using the, my professional professional compound. This is a like an entry level compound. Uh, doesn't even, it's not even that fast, probably 300 feet per second or something. That's just a stinger. 
uh, from PSC. I forgot my other professional one that puts out more power. And that could probably even go one and a half. Okay, now the moment that I've been waiting for. Now I'm gonna show you the world's fastest and strongest uh, commercially made uh, crossbow made by 10 point. Puts about 500 and five, 505 feet per second. 505 feet per second, yeah. Be right back. Cabron, 500, five feet per second? Why they don't say only, they say only 500? It's a big difference, five feet more. <laughs> okay, say hello to 10 points new nitro 505. 505 feet per second, world's fastest production made crossbow in the market. This thing is a beast. If you are into power and speed, everyone knows speed kills. This is the one for you. I will leave all the specs and uh, links for this one in the description. Thank you 10 point. They've been a great sponsor of this channel. They always help us out with the latest and the greatest. And this is the new one that they released a few months ago. And it's got the Accu slide. Beautiful crossbow. Oh man, it's got the rail. You can put your um, mount on it if you want. Bipod, tripod. If you want to put flashlight, you can. Oh, <laughs> tactical. Make it a tactical weapon. <laughs> but anyway, my first time going to be shooting it actually. All the cardboard stickers are still on it. It's got your lever over here, which is cool. Tucks right back in here. So let's figure it out. They also send me the, the arrows for these. There they are. And I put the same broadhead on there, the blades, the fixed blade ones. Pro Elite 400, 400 grain. So yeah, the carbon crossbow. Even these are heavy duty, look at that. They told me to make sure to use the new ones for this one because it's so powerful. Anyway, we'll put this here so it doesn't get dirty. Oh, shoot, this all was in my, in my eye. <laughs> oh, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to put the little, uh, I don't want to mess up the, let me do it here. <clears throat> okay, perfect. So I don't have to mess up the front. This comes with extra attachment for the front and uh, I forgot to put it on as usual. Anyway, the lever comes off back here. They got this box over here that drops down and grabs the string like that. Right there, Jasper, you see that? Yes. Push firmly. It catches the string and then you put your lever over here, locks in and then you pull it, you pull your string backward. And then if you let go, it doesn't snap forward. It doesn't uh, pull it forward. So it just stays where it's at. So you can just kind of, if you're in a tree stand position <coughs> and it doesn't click, so it's very quiet. I'm gonna stay quiet for a second, listen. Look how uh, narrow it gets in the front when one's cocked in. Boy. And a click locks in. Usually you're supposed to have like about two, three rounds backward. This, it even tells you for, it's a dummy proof. This uh, vein down, so you, this goes downward like that. I put the back in, I'm oh, sorry, with the white down. <laughs> I drop it I like wait, that. Wait, wait, repeat that. Because <laughs> I point in another direction. <laughs> what for that what direction? For, Gabriel, for pay attention here. Yeah. And look how narrow it looks. Now once it's all cocked in. <laughs> yeah. You see that? Very slim. Okay, for the dummy thing. Dummy. <laughs> dummy thing. Uh weighing down. I go upward down so my hand is still out of the uh, strings way. And I push it in like that, slide it in. Perfect. And that little brush holds down the back. Oh man, look at this. Now it's ready. To be fired. That's pretty ready. I'm ready. Uh, okay, safety. You can move your safety. It's got the pin on this side. So I'm gonna engage it into fire. I'm gonna go around the same area. Oh, and this uh, does come with the uh, scope on it too. So that's a good thing. I haven't sighted in, of course, but doesn't matter. Let's see what happens. Fire in the hole. Ooh, wow, go through three, four. Look at this. Yeah, four. One, two, three, four. Came all the way back here. Center shot, so all that 
super center. The, the scope was actually pretty accurate. I wasn't even really aiming at the uh, at like a specific area. I was just kind of pointing in the middle with the scope. I am really close, so it doesn't really matter. I highly doubt these scopes are sighted in for uh, five to 10 yards, maybe 50 yards. Went in, that's amazing power right there. Wow. They're all skewered. This is Armenian shish kebab right over here. <laughs> this is how that's done. Just wait, make sure I don't, I keep running into this. Thank God it's yellow. I, at least I can see it. Wow, look at that. Crazy, right? Crazy. Let me, um, I'm gonna shoot it with a couple of guns. I didn't want to add guns into this right now, but I think it's also uh, fair to do a gun, see what happens. How about some throwing knives or something? Oh, the sun went away, Mr. Sun. Okay. Uh, I'll be right back, Jasperi. Okay. Cabron, I want to throw a knife too. You want to try this? Yes. Okay. You want to come to it? <laughs> well, you and me. Okay, Cabron. but remember. Cabron, uh, this thing might fly back. I know. So be super careful. I don't know what's gonna happen. This thing is pretty bouncy. Well, no. When I throw this thing, for sure go and uh, to and one or two. Ah, yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> Try to aim lower so it doesn't hit. It doesn't go far. We can find these ones. Yes. These are throwing knives. I just had some laying around. Uh, sharp enough to where they can penetrate pretty good. Very thick steel. These were sent to us by uh, Aladdin. Uh, Ch Saladin, Chaladin, um, he's a, a throw, knife throwing expert, ch world champion. He sent me a bunch of these. I shot these a while back. Some heavy duty steel. I remember two, three of these stopped at 50 BMG or something like that. So they are pretty tough. I just had them laying around. I was like, let's just throw it, see what happens. Okay, let me do one. Okay, no, you know what you do it. Here. Ah, was, because you're a little bit more, you know, you got the good throwing technique. I don't think he throws them like that. I think he grabs no, them. Cabron. No, I think he grabs them like this. You're supposed to, yeah. He throws them like this, but then I, there, you need to be at a certain distance for it to actually hit. I don't know what you what you do, but good luck. Just don't hurt yourself. <laughs> okay, ready? Wait. You don't think you're kind of far? Uh, no, I'm okay. Here. Let me. <laughs> I'm okay here. <laughs> okay, go, Carlo. You're kind of far. No, what? My technique. Oh, like a baseball technique, okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> Cabron! Did it even do anything? Did what the is tip... this thing about? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah Cabron! <laughs> oh, you did actually hit it. The, the, um, I'm just gonna say the pointy area. <laughs> yeah, it's a... You did penetrate it, let me see. Yeah, Cabron! Yeah, it did penetrate, but it didn't stick. Oh, and I bend this thing too. Yeah, right. That was like that from the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> bend. My... <laughs> throw. You want to throw one more time? Yeah, one more time. How did you hit it? I don't know, but it's a... you got lucky, I think. Honestly, there's no way you. No, this one not. Oh, that one didn't stick. No. Yeah, you didn't do that one. Okay, okay one more. No, no throw turn. one more. Let's see. Oh, now let me throw my way here, like this. The Mexican way. The Mexican way. Ah, uh, nada. Nada, tostada. I'll give you one more chance. You're getting tired. That's a good exercise. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> two, two, three throws, and you're already out of breath. I know. <laughs> Ay, wey. Ay, wey. Nothing. Nothing. Yo, give me a chance. I want to try too. Yes. Because it kind of seems fun. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah, okay, here. Oh, the sun is back. Now we're going to get. I put the thing in a brightness up a little bit because it was a little dark. Okay, let me put back. I don't know if you uh, want to put it back. Okay. Pretty, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go on the side and then kind of walk to the left. So in case it, it ricochets, it goes the other way. Okay. Ready? I'll wait here. Okay. Oh. Let's go check. Nothing is happening. Nothing. I need to take some classes from this guy. He, he says something about holding it like this. No way! <laughs> oh, dang! Yeah! It's stuck! No. <laughs> oh, it worked! Yeah, it worked. So, I guess his techniques are actually good. Yeah! It didn't penetrate, but uh, well, it, it, didn't, it wouldn't do harm. So, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the same way, same technique one more time. It kind of worked. What? 
Cabrón, two hands? No, nothing. Okay. Let me go closer. Hold on, watch. Ready? Uh, um, the, oh, ah, cabrón. I think this thing holds. Shoot hold. or throw? Oh, throw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> throw Ready? this thing one more time. Uh, okay. You see? Because the button don't move. Oh, you're right. Maybe. Again, successful. Maybe. Can you zoom in on that one? That's so yes. I can get some, get some guns. Ah, cabrón, guns? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, engine the half too. You see? Yeah. The button don't move. The switch. I'll show you why it's called the switch. Because the switch is open. <laughs> but I bought this online and it shoots a 22 mag. I thought it was really cool and tiny because I like tiny things. Look at the front. That's the front of it. Just ready. It's got the revolver cylinder. I don't know, maybe a four or five shot. Right there. And obviously fits right in your back pocket easily. It is super tiny. And I'm gonna make another video just on this to see what kind of stuff it can penetrate. But pretty much a switch, so watch this. You hit this button here, switch is open. Now you have a normal looking kind of gun. Wait, where's the trigger? Is this the trigger right there? Yeah, that's the trigger. It is empty. And you pull the trigger, fires. And to release it, you push that downward, like that, locks in. Come on, like a, like a pocket knife. I just don't know how the cylinder opens yet. What's that? Oh. Oh, that the whole rod, cylinder rod comes out. How do you? Oh, here we go. So, what, does this whole cylinder need to come out to, for you to load? Yeah, I think so. So the whole cylinder, I guess, has to come out. I don't know. These are some CCIs. Where was the front? Here. I'm no, gonna mess with this. I'm gonna mess with this more. Oh, yeah, you're right. To see if the cylinder has to come out or not, but I think it does. So you put your five shots. I have three right now. It's my first time playing with this, so don't judge me. Like that, and that goes. What am I doing? Oh, the round was out. Okay. And that goes right in there and locks in. Okay, it looks good. Let me get some ear protection and I'll be right back. Okay, ready? I'm ready! Uh, I'm gonna hit it center. This uh, black area that says police. First of all, you should never shoot at a, a cop. That's the number one. This is just for the sake of entertainment, just curiosity to see what happens. But this is a uh, foam material. It's not uh, metal. This is plastic. So we'll shoot him, see how tough the plastic material is. That police warning was already there. I didn't put it. So um, you know what I'm trying to say. Yes. Okay, 22 mag. You already saw how the round looks like. Let's see how it operates. Okay, that's clear. Nothing there. Okay, this is ready to go. Woo! So hold it like that, I guess. Fire in the hole. Oh! Where did I hit? Well, I think you hit. Ah, uh, well. I don't know. Well, I don't see any penetration. But shoot the top area. I, I don't see any penetration on the third one anywhere. What the heck? What did I even hit? But for sure you hit this thing. There's no way one stopped it. Maybe here? No. It's a 22 mag. It had to gone through. Okay, let's shoot one more time. Cabron, you shoot here. I can see the, the, here. One stop the, oh yeah. There's no way. Shoot one more time on the top. That's how tough these things are? Top area. It does have some, is that sights? No, that's not sights. What is that? There's not really any sights on this. I think. There's a little groove on top, but that's not considered. 
maybe I don't know no that's for the that can't be the sights on it okay I'm gonna go here yeah yeah go through <laughs> just one wow. yeah nothing came out what the heck these things are pretty tough Hey, you like how the arrow went in through four? The 22 max stopped on the first one. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot a little bit further back and the bottom right. Ah! Yeah, cabrón, you missed. I did? Yeah. What's this? No. This is... Did I hit here? Uh, I don't know, but I think you missed. Well, okay. I'm... It's not going and the two shots for sure confirmed right there and it's not penetrating after the first one. They're all stopping on the first one. I can load up a couple more but then uh, this thing takes a little bit longer than usual to load up. Look, there's no room for me to load it up from the side. The whole cylinder has to come out I think. Because I was thinking that's kind of annoying. Unless there's a different way, I don't think so. There's a reason why they made this to uh, like that, to slide out. Kind of. It's a pretty cool concept. Nice engineering. So this comes out. Slide has to come out. Sucks that your finger has to be in front of the barrel a little bit, but I mean, it's it's not sure. There we are. And you can use the cylinder rod to push these out if you need to, I think. Right there. Pretty cool concept, right? It's a survival, last minute, last resort. It's not supposed to be a tactical reload situation here but it is awesome little thing just like my just kidding <laughs> God, don't, don't disrespect just me like, like that. A, just like another uh, pocket knife <laughs> pocket knife knife pocket oh what no i was talking about something else i know <laughs> Cabrón, i tried to fix this thing for you <laughs> oh you got what i was trying yeah, to say <laughs> Uh, let me get um, one last gun and we'll wrap it up. I think we've been here a long time already. <laughs> but <laughs> I'll be right back. That's funny. Don't don't talk about my thing like that. No. <laughs> Come on. The loading gauge here at the bottom. Oh, you have to push it. So you push that. I got my Bonnie and Clyde shotgun. I'm gonna put some bird shots. You have to push it every time? Okay. Unless I don't know what I'm doing. Which is also true. Ah! It's an oldie, but a goldie. Put three rounds. Ah, it locks in every time I have to push that button. Or I guess I can just push it. Ah, three rounds in. Okay. Here, are my 12 gauge shotgun. Ah, uh, right there. The sun is that way. Okay, you see that, Jasper? Oh, that's beautiful. The moment of the beauty. Yes. Remington. I forgot what model this is. Let me know in the comments. I always forget the model name. Okay. Uh, -da 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 -da. Bird shots. I'm going to go further back on this one a little bit because I feel like the closer I am, the higher velocity of these BBs will penetrate more. So, um, we'll shoot it from this distance and see what happens. Look. Yes, okay. I saw the orange thing. You saw the orange thing? That's good. Ready? I'm ready. Fire in the hole. Oh my, yes. This is hot, just Betty. Be careful. Ah, oh, yeah. Destruction. You see all the uh, penetration on the BB. Oh, here's the 22. The 22 fell off from the back when I hit that thing. This thing kicked like a horse. Oh, they didn't penetrate. No? No. They all fell down here somewhere. There's no holes in the back of them. Oh. Yeah. See? None of them made it out. Okay, a little bit closer this time. Let's see if anything different will happen. Jasper, where are you? Here. On my right? Yes. Okay, safety still off. 
Okay, fire in the hole. Whoa. This thing kicks. So this time around, they went in, as you can tell. And looks like it, they all came out together. Well, obviously through the first one. This is done, donezo. And they punctured, uh, punctured right over here inside this one. But that's it, two of these stopped the shotgun. Which is actually pretty good. Da -da -da -da. So we have the crossbow so far has made the best uh, penetration. For past the fourth uh, shield, even that fourth one is a kill shot almost because it's coming out about uh, four inches in. I do have, there's one more round in here, right? Yes. Let's go shoot in the water real quick. Oh, but wait, 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 wait. Is, is a uh, jump? How you call this thing? Oh. Yeah, it's two. Feet here? Wait, okay. wait, let, let me show this. It's two, two together. Yeah, they love each other. They love each other, yeah. <laughs> they love each other. What is going on here, Dr. Edwin? Which one is the, the okay, the top? Let me hold this, that in. Okay. Oh wait, this is, uh, oh, this is a new one. one. That's a empty one, of course. That's it. That's it. That's it's clear. Empty one. That's clear. Let's shoot one. You want to shoot this? You never shot this, right? Ah, uh, cabrón! Kicks really Let's hard. I know. Let me shoot let me, the water a little bit. Let me let me record you. Okay. <laughs> cabrón, how do you explain how we have water in the uh, desert? I don't know. Where does water come from? Ah, uh, from the sky, I think. Okay, good. Ready? <laughs> I'm let ready. me shoot that uh, dragonfly thing over there. Fire in a hole. Oh, I almost hit him right there. He was flying. Okay, that's the round. Oh, it's... what's going on? It's not ejecting properly, but I still like it. Okay, let's go. That's it for today's video. I think we've done enough damage. I'm gonna come back and shoot more of these with random other bullets. We have about uh, one, two, three, four, five. I might have them send me some more of these so we can have back up to 10 and shoot them with uh, different other rounds. But for today, I think that's good enough. That's sufficient. We did some throwing knives, crossbows. We can throw the bike at them, see what happens. <laughs> Run into them with the bike. <laughs> that thing is fun. Thanks again to Eventon for sending the electric bike, e-bike. And uh, thanks to LAPG for sending these shields. We really appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Let's go. Let's go.